right, welcome to a vinyasa practice. My name is Kaylee. When you're ready to get started, you can meet me in a seat. However you can sit comfortably is perfect. If seated just is out the gate immediately not comfortable, go ahead and lie down onto your back. Let your awareness start to settle in to the space. And see if you can pull a little bit of your mental energy into your body just by focusing on your breath. You don't need to change the breath just yet. Maybe the breath naturally shifts a little bit as you turn your attention to it. You'll find a little more length in your spine, whether you're seated or on your back, just bring your awareness to the spine and see if you can visualize or even sense like a tiny bit of space beginning to open up between the vertebra, between the bones in your back, like maybe a millimeter. Allow that space to start to be filled with your breath, with your awareness. And then we'll take a few rounds of a specific kind of pranayama. Prana is our life force, our breath, our energy, and yama is a control. So we're controlling the movement of the breath on purpose to bring more awareness into the body. I'm gonna take a double inhale through the nose and an open mouth exhale. So it'll be like this, breathe in. Sip in a little bit more breath, and then open your mouth, sigh it out. Three more. Inhale through the nose and hold. Sip in a bit more air, a little pause. Sigh it out. Two more. your breath to settle into whatever rhythm is natural and just notice. I'm going to make a commitment before we move any further into practice to give yourself a little bit more credit. Beating ourselves up is so human but it ultimately ends up keeping stuck. See if you can allow yourself to consider the best possible outcome of your time on your mat. Allow yourself to find like some genuine gratitude for the things that are going well, for the things that you are doing well. Maybe you brushed your teeth this morning. I'm talking real simple if you're having a hard time coming up with anything. Just the act of showing up on your mat, carving out this time is already a huge thing to give yourself some credit for. When you're ready, on an inhale, reach the arms up over your head, find a stretch. And as you exhale, pull your hands to your heart center. Keep them there. Anything that you might need for your practice, some courage, a little more open-minded or open-hearted energy, some strength, some patience, whatever it might be. Allow yourself to really fill your body with it as you breathe in. So really fill up every cell of your body, filling up. And then let it be an offering. Open your mouth, let it go. <sighs> Meet me in a tabletop position. So take your time to get there. We're moving mindfully in our yoga practice. And then in your tabletop position, take some body circles. So you'll keep your arms in pretty straight here, but just rotate your entire torso over your wrists, over your knees. Switch the direction of those body circles. Start to feel the weight shifting around in your hands or in your knees in 
shins. Try and keep your lower back long. So engage your lower abdominals for a moment. Come through the center here. Tuck onto the toes so you're on the balls of the feet. And then drop your belly. Let your chest ripple forward through your arms. Maybe your chin tips up, finding cow. Take a breath in. As you exhale, round your spine, curl the pelvis under, come up onto the tips of your fingers and tuck your chin in toward your chest. We're gonna spread out the palms, come back to cow pose, breathing in, lift the chin. And then cat, round your spine, maybe you climb back up onto the finger pads. Drop the palms, cow pose, breathe in. Cat pose, option to tent the fingers as you exhale. Two more on your own. So you're trying to find a movement pace that feels synced up for you, that feels satisfying, that allows you to check in with the different segments of your spine and areas in your body. The next time you find that cat back, pause. If you're on your fingertips, try and stay there. We're gonna pull the navel in this is challenging, so fair warning, challenging. You're on the balls of the feet and the tips of the fingers, perhaps you could always be on your palms. Try and lift the knees up just an inch, just a centimeter even for four. Strong in your wrists and forearms. Three, two, drop the knees down, drop the palms, inhale, cow. Try that again as you exhale, empty, empty, empty. Come onto the fingertips and maybe float the knees. Knees down, palms down, cow pose, breathe in. One more like that. Cat around the spine, tent the fingers, hover the knees for four, three, two. We're gonna set the knees down gently, sit back onto your heels for a little toe stand and then keep walking the hands back. Come on to the palms of the hands if you can. Roll the shoulders back in space. Give them a little squeeze. You can take a counter stretch, a little back bend. Stay long in the sides of the neck and the throat. A little bit of abdominal engagement. Curl your chin toward your chest. Stand up onto your toes and your knees here. So find a tall kneeling position, reaching the arms up overhead. Take a big breath in. And then we're gonna release the arms to the side, press your hips forward through your arms. Instead of reaching back for anything, like we often do in camel, take a floating camel stretch here. We're gonna drop the heels down, reach the arms up, big breath in. Drop the heels up, drop the hips to the heels. As you exhale, find that floating camel, press the hips forward. Imagine the top of the thigh bones lifting up. Hips to your heels, reach your arms up. There we go, breathe in. Two more, floating camel, big breath out, press the hips forward. Inhale, sit and reach. Exhale, tall kneeling, floating camel. Stay tall, reach the arms up on the in breath. And then hands down, downward facing dog, spread your fingers out nice and wide. Feel free to take a few rounds of pedaling out your dog, checking with your ankles, your knees. And find a nice strong downward facing dog for a moment. Press down to the base of the thumb and the index finger, and then press the hands not just down, but also forward. Bend your knees a little bit, drive your chest back toward your legs. Ooh, get a little slip, maybe. Look forward, lift the heels, try not to step or float to the top, but slipping happens. Wing your arms for your halfway stretch today. Take a breath in as you press down through the balls of the feet. Catch your calves, exhale, chin to your chest. Winged arm half stretch, breathe in, knit the floating ribs in. Catch the calves as you exhale, chin curls toward your chest. Last time, big breath in, reach the crown of the head forward. Catch the calves as you exhale, let your head tumble down. Give it a nod from shoulder to shoulder. Cross into the balls of the feet as you unroll all the way up to standing, reaching your arms up. And then bring your arms to your side, Tadasana. Reach your arms upward, breathe in. 
Forward fold, nice long exhale, Surya Namaskar A. Halfway stretch, maybe you bend the knees and plant the hands in preparation. Step or float back, lowering half or all the way down. Find your cobra or your upward facing dog, pause, finish your in breath. And then down dog, press into your hands, send your hips back, stay here. Take one deep breath in. Press back a little bit more on your exhale. Hold the exhale, lift the heels, look forward, and then travel lightly to the top of your mat. Wing dart, halfway stretch, big breath in. Catch your calves, fold forward as you empty. Rise on the inhale, reach up. Tadasana on the exhale, let the shoulders drop. Take two more rounds, Surya Namaskar A, breathing in. Breathing out. Big inhale, and then flow through your vinyasa. When you land in down dog, you can pause for a breath or more. Take one more round of Surya Namaskar A. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Feel free to add things in, to slow things down. Maybe you add a crow. Or maybe you take a child's pose. And see if whatever you choose to do as you breathe through these warm-ups, you let it come from a place that's really authentic for what you need in this moment. Sometimes we need to challenge ourselves and sometimes we need a little bit of a, hmm, a little bit more of an ease to our day, to our life. When you find downward facing dog, reach your right leg up. Put a bend in your knee and open up to the hip. Take a few breaths here. You can circle your right ankle. Draw some big circles with your right knee. So come to your mat. Looking, switch the direction of the circles. Looking for a challenge if that's what you need, but also being prepared to let your mat be a place where you can find refuge. Lift the right leg up, take a big breath in. And then we're gonna step the right foot between the thumbs Sweep the right arm up and open. So you're in a dragonfly twist here. You're pressing down gently or pretty firmly through your left hand. Try and spiral your heart open toward the right. Maybe you even start to find a little twist upward through your heart space. Find some length in your spine here. Breathe in. And then twist a little bit deeper. Draw your navel to your low back as you exhale. One more big breath in. Maybe you circle the top wrist. And then we're gonna find prasarita. Pivot your toes toward the left side of your mat. Let's ragdoll the elbows, ragdoll the arms and the upper body. Find a little sway here. Maybe give your head another gentle shake or nod. Feel into the stretch in the backs of your legs and your prasarita. Keep the heels down. My feet are slippery today. Interesting. So try and keep your heels down here, but shift your weight toward the balls of your feet. You feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Can you draw the kneecaps up the thighs? Just keep the straddle, but release the right hand down. Sweep the left arm up and open, finding a twist toward the back of your space. Call some ease into your neck and your jaw, even as you lengthen the spine from your tailbone all the way through the crown of the head. Take another long inhale. We're gonna sweep the hands to the top of the mat, pivot the toes forward, bring both of your hands inside of your right foot. Start to heel toe your right foot farther out to the right. Keep the back knee lifted, shift forward. We're gonna keep the left hand down, sweep the right arm up and open. So you're in a wide dragonfly here. And then we're gonna take an active threaded needle, reach the right arm behind the left arm and stretch the right fingertips over to the left. Feel the shoulders. Move away from your spine here. Push into the left hand. Inhale, right arm open. Shoulders hug toward mid thighs. As you exhale, thread that needle again. Let the shoulders round away. Two more. Breathe in to spin open. Exhale. Square the chest down or even rotate your sternum to the left. One more time. Breathe in. Breathe out. Sweep it up and open on the in-breath. Bring your right hand inside of your right foot. 
bend your elbows, keep the back knee lifted, pull your heart forward to your big bend in that right knee. We're in our Spider-Man push-up. Press into your hands, kick the right leg all the way back, three-legged dog, breathe in. And then step the right foot between the thumbs, drop the left knee down. On Johnny Asana, reach the arms up for a moment here. Draw the navel in toward the lower back as you take a little bit of a back bend. And then find your Hanumanasana, straightening out the right leg, find a stretch in the back of the thigh. Take four smooth, steady breaths here. So come back to that idea of pranayama with the breath. Control the flow of your energy. Long inhales, reach the crown of the head forward. Slow exhales, let your body melt a little bit more. Two more, breathe in. Breath out. Maybe you close your eyes, last round of breath here. We're gonna walk the hands forward, re-bend the front knee, tuck the back toes, high crescent lunge, reach the arms up, pressing down through the ball of the back foot and shifting into the base of your right big toe. Right knee is tracking forward toward your second or third toe. Stay here, pull your left hip point forward. Maybe you look up, maybe you touch the palms, breathe in. Plant the hands, step back, high plank to low plank. You can always float the right leg to your low plank if you want, cobra or upward facing dog. Finish your inhale. And then down dog, send your hips up and back. Left leg lifts, bend your knee. Take some breaths to find some little Sparks of awareness in the ankle or the knee. You can wake up some of those nooks and crannies in the body. Maybe you go a little bit slower with some of these rotational movements. It's easy to bypass different ranges of motion if we always go at a quicker speed. Maybe slowing down will give you access to open up the body a little bit more. Take the left leg back when you're ready, breathe in. Step between your thumbs as you empty. Strong dragonfly. Left arm peels up and open. Pull your left hip crease back as you slide the right upper thigh forward. Draw your belly button away from your front leg and then lengthen your spine. Every inhale, find space in your chest. Every exhale, wrap your lungs around your heart. You're twisting and rotating. One more, breathe in. Prasarita. Maybe a different arm variation this time. Maybe you explore interlacing your hands at your lower back and drawing the knuckles away from you. Same thing here, root down into your feet. Keep the heels down, but shift the weight toward the balls of the feet and lift your kneecaps up your thighs. Release the arms, sweep the right arm up and open. So you're finding a straddle with a twist toward the back of your space. Maybe you circle the top wrist here, breathe in. Sweep the hands to the top of the mat, pivot the toes forward and then start to walk your left foot farther over to the left. Shift forward so your right shoulder is over your right wrist. Lift your left arm up, you're in your wide dragonfly and then thread that left arm behind the right. Inhale as you peel open, feel the shoulders move. Exhale, sweep it under. Two more deep breaths. And the next time you peel open, pause, take a breath in. We're gonna bring the left hand inside of the left foot. Spider-Man push-up. Pull your heart and the crown of the head forward as you bend your elbows back. Three-legged dog, kick the left leg back in space, breathe in. And then step the left foot between the thumbs, drop your back knee, Anjani Asana, find your balance. Take your eyes toward the horizon or upward. Nice long inhale. Hanumanasana, find the stretch for the back of your left leg. And then breathe into where you feel the sensation. Four more breaths. The last 
last round, nice patient inhale. And stay soften on the exhale. And start to walk your hands forward, re-bend the front knee. We're finding our high crescent lunge, pressing off the ball of the back foot, and then sliding that left kneecap forward as you pull your left sit bone back and slightly down. Stay here or look up on an inhale. Plant the hands if you float the left foot to chaturanga on the exhale or you lower all the way to your belly. Cobra pose or upward facing dog, press into the tops of the feet. Down dog, push into the palms of your hands. Stay here, take a breath in through your nose and then open your mouth as you exhale, let your jaw soften. Keep the exhale out, lift the heels up forward. Step or hop to your thumbs. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Chest to thighs, breathe out. Rise all the way up on the inhale and then catch your right wrist, kind of side bend, stay here or bring your right foot back behind you and over to the left. Drop the right heel down as you bend your left knee. Oh, balance is tough for me today. I'll just notice, right? Maybe you're having a totally different experience on your mat, most likely you are. But can you take it lightly? We're gonna come back to the center. Breathe in, reach your arms up. And then fold, or fold forward on your exhale. Halfway stretch, take a breath in. Plant the hands, step back to plank. Shift your heels to the right, lift your left arm up. So we're in a side plank. Reach your left arm forward. Stagger your feet here if you can. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bend your knees, bring your left hand to your heart, left hand, left thumb to your heart. Inhale back to that side plank variation. Exhale, bend the knees, maybe your butt drops all the way down, left thumb to heart center. Last time, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale it forward, plant the hand high, push up. And then exhale to downward facing dog. Lift your heels, look forward. Step lightly or hop to the top of your mat. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Chest to thighs, let your head drop. Rise on the inhale, reach up. This time catch your left wrist, find a side body bend, stay here or bring your left foot back behind you into the right and then drop the left heel as you bend your right knee. So you're in kind of an off center lunge, like a narrow stance lunge. On an inhale, come back to the center, reach up. Exhale and fold forward, let it go. Halfway stretch, breathe in. High to low or straight to high. We'll meet in a plank pose. Swivel your heels to the left. Lift the right arm, stagger your feet. Reach your right arm forward, breathe in. And then bend the knees, send your butt back and down, right thumb to your heart center. Two more times, inhale, reach. Exhale, thumb to your heart, knees bend. Again, breathe in, really stretch that right arm forward. Exhale, thumb to your heart center. Reach forward, big breath in, high push up to low push up on your exhale, cobra or upward facing dog, breathe in. And then down dog, send your hips up and back. Right leg, here we go on the inhale. We're gonna take a Spider-Man push up as you exhale, step the right foot outside the right pinky and bend your elbows. Three-legged dog, breathe in. This time bring your right knee to your left elbow and then shoot that leg out. You can keep the foot floating if you want or set the foot down. Peel your left arm up and open. So again, that right foot could be lifted. Pull your belly button toward your lower back if you do that. If you've got the foot down, go ahead and spin the hips up, lift the chest, take a breath in, whichever version. Exhale, left hand down, right leg, kick it all the way back, breathe in. We're gonna step between the thumbs, find a dragonfly twist, sweep your right arm open just for an inhale. Come into Prasarita as you exhale right away, 
Left arm reaches up, find that twist toward the back of the space, breathe in. This time we're gonna sweep the hands to the top of the mat and find a high crescent lunge. Take your time to find your crescent and then start to shift your weight into your front foot. Maybe you come up onto just the left big toe before you take your airplane, launch it forward. Draw the belly button in, Uddiyana Bandha, and then hug the outer edges of the hips in. You can even bring your hands onto the sides of the hips or the sides of the glutes and press inward, just as a reminder, to pull those points toward midline to create a little bit more like engagement around your center of gravity. We're gonna take a big step back with the left foot as we find Sky Archer, catch your right wrist. You can pop the right heel up, maybe you even bend into your left knee a little bit. Find some space in your side body. And then we're taking it into a prayer twist. So re-bend the front knee, adjust your stance if you need to slide the ball of the left foot back. Left elbow lands outside of the right thigh. Lengthen out through your spine and your twist as you breathe in. And then twist deep as you exhale, pulling your abdominals toward your lower back. Take another long round of breath in. Stay here as you empty. We're gonna find star. Spin open, take up some space. Do a little relaxation for the wrist here. You're picking up a ton of tension in the hands. See if you can keep yourself solid and set, but relax a little bit. So find that sweet spot where you're not so tense and tight that like things could snap, but where you've got enough engagement, enough support, that you're not gonna fall over. From star, we're gonna take a side lunge toward the back of the mat. So keep your toes pointing toward the, what is the left edge of your yoga mat here. You always have the option in a side lunge if you'd rather to come into a skandasana, lifting your heart, lengthening your spine. So you're either in your side lunge or you're in your skandasana. From whichever one, we're gonna come back to star, big breath in. Take it back into that side lunge or skandasana as you exhale. This time, we're gonna inhale and stand the feet together at the top of the mat with the toes pointing toward the left and reach the arms up. So big stretch there. This is an inhale. Our side lunge or our skandasana is gonna be our exhale. I'm gonna go with the side lunge. So it's an inhale, feet together, reach up. Exhale, take a big step into that side lunge. Again, breathe in, reach up, feet together. Exhale, side lunge. Option two. From here, if you want more balance challenge, you're gonna shift the weight into that front leg and tee your arms. So left leg is lifted, you're on your right foot. Back to side lunge, exhale. Inhale, maybe you find your balance, maybe you stick with this. So play around a little bit with this. Know that you can absolutely hold in any one of these shapes. You can go between the two. We're just here for three. We're gonna meet in star in two and one. So star pose, take a big breath in. Lightning crescent to the top of the mat. Reverse warrior, inhale. And then cartwheel just the left hand down. We're taking it straight into our wild thing. Bring the ball of the right foot back behind you. Lift the right arm up. Find some space as you breathe in. And then low push up as your exhale again, you can float the right leg if you want. Cobra or upward facing dog, breathe in. Downward facing dog, press it back. Left leg this time, take a breath in, now you know it's coming. Spider-Man, just one time, big step, bend the elbows. Kick back on the inhale, bring your knee to your right elbow, shoot it out. Find your wild, thing, or excuse me, your dancing warrior. Option to float that left leg up. Pull the belly button in. If you've got the left foot floated, pull the hips back. Breathe in, whichever version. Exhale, right hand floats down. Left leg, kick it back on the inhale. Step between the thumbs on the exhale. Dragonfly, left arm, big breath in. Prasarita, pivot the toes. 
Take up your right arm, twist to the back of the space on the inhale. High crescent at the top of your mat, maybe hands free. Find your balance, start to shift the weight forward, and then launch it into airplane. And just notice how you're relating. Balance has been an interesting journey for me. A lot of the time it's really dialed in in my body. And then I have these days, like anyone, where things are just not quite what I'm used to. So, so important to be able to adjust. To let yourself evolve, to go with the flow as much as possible. We're gonna step the right foot back, sky archer, catch your left wrist. You can pop up onto the left heel if you want. Maybe you bend into the right knee a little. What gives you a chance at feeling some sense of spaciousness in the body? So space and stability. Take a breath into it. Prayer twist, adjust the feet as needed. So again, you've got that length, that space to work with. One long line of energy from your back ankle all the way through the crown of the head. On an inhale, here we go. We take it into our star. Let yourself stretch and take up some space. When you're ready, side lunge or skandasana to the back of the mat. So now you know what's coming. Skandasana is a lot more range of motion to work with that kind of dynamic mobility that we're doing here, that balance challenge. Choose accordingly, experiment. I'm gonna take it back to start to start, breathe in. And then side lunge or skandasana as you exhale. This time the feet are gonna to step together at the top of the mat, reach your arms up, big breath in. Side lunge as you exhale. Take a couple like that, breathe in. Breathe out. If and when you want, we change it from a side lunge to a floating at the top with that right leg lifted, back to your side lunge. So the left foot is going to stay planted the whole time in this sequence. But we're moving the right foot either to the left foot or the right foot floating out from the right hip. We're here for four, for three, two, meet in star pose, take a big breath in. Lightning crescent to the top of your mat. Reverse warrior on your inhale. And then cartwheel just the right hand down. We've got a wild thing. Spin to the ball of the left foot. Lift the left arm up and open. Maybe you take a big back bend here. Breathe in. Exhale, abdominals pull in as you flow through your vinyasa. Big breath in. Press it to downward facing dog. Let's clear that out. Big inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Look forward. Travel to the top of your mat. Halfway stretch, breathe in. Chest to thighs as you empty. Rise on the inhale. Catch the right wrist, find that side bend. Step the foot out to the left if you like. On an inhale, we're gonna to come to a T position. So T the arms out, feet are together. And then as you exhale, rotate to the left and lift your left knee up. So we're rotating the left, lift the left knee up. Bring the foot down, come back to a T, breathe in. Side bend as you exhale, this time left hand to the left thigh, maybe the right foot steps back. Inhale, feet together, T the arms. Exhale, twist to the left, lift the left knee. Feet down, inhale, T. Exhale, side bend, left hand to your side waist. Inhale, T. Again, rotate to the left. Inhale to a T. Exhale, side bend. One more on this side, breathe in. Breathe out. In and out. T the arms, take a breath in. Interlace the hands at your lower back. Tug the knuckles down here, breathe in. And then we're just gonna sit back into chair pose, bending into the knees, pull the shoulders down your back, tug the knuckles toward your tailbone or even toward the mat, 
back behind your heels for four. Three, can you soften the jaw, soften the temples? Two, chair pose, reach your arms forward, breathe in. Tadasana, straighten the legs, bring your arms to your side. Reach your arms up on the in-breath. This time, catch your left wrist, side bend. Maybe you step the right foot back or left foot back. Inhale, come to a T. Rotate to the right as you exhale, lift the right knee. T, breathe in. Side bend, right hand to your side, left arm up. Inhale, T. Exhale, rotate right, right knee. Inhale, T. Exhale, side bend. Maybe you step the left foot back. Two more times. Breathe in. Breathe out. Fill up. Empty out. Big breath in. Last twist. Inhale. Interlace at your lower back on the exhale. Stay here. Lift your chest and then sink your hips with that bind. Hold it here for four. Maybe you go a little lower for three. We're gonna keep the bind here, two. Breathe in and then forward fold on your exhale. Release your bind, set up for crow or high push-up. So Vakasana or a high plank. I'm gonna go with high plank today. Meet in your crow or your high push-up. We're gonna exhale the breath completely before we take a low push-up. So empty powerfully, and then lower or jump to chaturanga. Cobra or upward facing dog, big breath and press into the tops of the feet. Down dog, push into the palms of the hands, right leg. Here we go, breathe in. Spider-Man, step forward, bend the elbows. It's all coming together. Inhale, kick it back, hopefully. Exhale to the left elbow, shoot it out. Left arm up, breathe in. Left hand down, breathe out. Three-legged, inhale. Step between the thumbs on the exhale. Right arm, dragonfly, breathe in. Prasarita, big breath out. Pick up your back arm, inhale. Hands free if you can. High crescent at the top of the mat. Fill your lungs and then launch it forward as you empty. Find sky archer, breathe in. Prayer twist to your right for a long breath out. Star, spin open. Side lunge to the back. Here we go. Inhale, feet together and arms up. Exhale, side lunge to the back. Keep going with that or find your balance. There's balance involved in both of these, yeah? And then just notice, can you move with just a little bit more finesse? Even if that means slowing down, can you smooth things out? And if you can't, can you give yourself some credit for being here in the first place? Sometimes showing up is plenty. Take your side lunge when you get there. Hold it there for three, two, star pose, burst open on the inhale, lightning crescent to the top of the mat on the exhale. Reverse your warrior, wind it open, breathe in. Find your wild thing, left hand down. Spin open on the inhale, listen. This time we're gonna bring the right hand down, bring your right knee to your left elbow without kicking it back. Straight back to wild thing, breathe in. Right hand down, right knee, left elbow, breathe out. One more like that, inhale. Try and keep your shoulders over your wrists, exhale. Wild thing, breathe in. Low push-up this time. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, fuel up. Exhale, press back. Left leg, big breath in. Step outside the thumb, Spider-Man on the exhale. Kick back, breathe in. To the right as you empty, lift the right arm. Breath in. Right hand presses down, stretch the left leg back, fill up. Step between the thumbs, left arm lifts, breathe in. Dragonfly, let your head drop and then spin open to the back on the inhale. To the top of the mat, set it up on the exhale. High crescent, breathe in. Launch it forward just for your breath out. Sky archer, drop back open on the in. Prayer twist, long exhale, reach the crown of the head forward. Star pose, breath in. Side lunge to the back of the mat. 
You know where to go, right? Feet together, reach. Side lunge to the back. Shift into the front leg and then maybe you float. Let yourself be a little playful here. In order to enjoy the journey, we do have to let ourselves take it a little less seriously. Give yourself some credit for wherever you are in this moment. You might be taking a break. You might be hanging out in just one of these shapes and really feeling into it. We're here for four. Meet in the side lunge in three. Two, it's okay if you get there early. It's okay if you've been there the whole time. Star pose, big breath in. Lightning to the top of the mat. Reverse your warrior, nail that lunge on the inhale. And then wild thing, right hand down, left toes come back, big breath in. Left hand down, shift forward, left knee to the right elbow. Good, wild thing, breathe in. Hand down, knee to the right, breathe out. Last time, inhale. Left, or left knee, right elbow, exhale, go wild thing, big breath in. Low push up. Finish one more nice strong vinyasa. Give it your best. From downward facing dog, look forward, lift the heels, and then jump your feet to the top of the mat. Sit down onto your butt. Straighten the legs out in front of you for a moment. Reach your arms up over your head. Sip in a big breath as you lift the ribs away from the hips, and then fold forward. Just notice what you feel in your body. Notice the sensation of the breath. Notice where maybe you picked up some tension. Notice where maybe you can sense a little bit more space than perhaps you were aware of when you started on your mat. to lift the head up, walk the hands back. Bring your hands way back in space behind you. Bend your knees, plant your feet about hips distance apart. We're gonna push into the hands and into the feet. As you lift the hips up, you're in a reverse table. Hug the inner thighs, not just toward one another, but try and spiral the inner thighs upward toward the ceiling. Take a breath in. We're gonna shift into the heels and then send your butt back between your thumbs around your spine. So curl your chin toward your chest. Try and keep your hips hovering. Come back into that reverse table. Breathe in, inner thighs spiral up toward the ceiling. Exhale, shoot the butt back, hover it, chin toward your chest. Long inhale, reverse your table. Full exhale, butt shoots back, hover, hover, hover. Two more, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Maybe you purse your lips for your exhale. Hold it here. Hold the exhale. Hold the exhale. Hover your hips and then lift your hips. So it's a little mini push up here. Three. Oh my gosh. Two. And one. Drop your hips. Reach your arms up. Breathe in. Separate your feet and fold forward. Doesn't need to be a big wide separation, but just give yourself enough space so that the belly and the chest can rest either on the inner thighs or between them. Let your head drop, give your chin a gentle shake side to side. And let the crown of the head really just tumble down toward the space between your thighs. Start to lift the head up, last little bit of work before we wind it down. So feet are split, maybe a little bit wider than your mat. Reach your arms up. And then we're gonna reach the right hand for the left foot, shift forward, the left arm's reaching back in space. On an inhale, come back up. Switch sides, shift and reach for your other foot. This time on the inhale, you can choose if you wanna reach up or tuck the tailbone, roll it back. And then we all exhale, reach for the left foot. 
Inhale, you either go up through the center or roll back. Exhale, reach left for right. Keep going, breathing in, breathing out. Can you make this movement feel big and expansive through your limbs, but also feel so dialed in through your midsection, through the inner thighs, through the outer hips, certainly through your abdominals. The next time you twist to the left, hold it there. Hold that twist to the left. We're gonna reach the left arm back. And then find a little half bind. Bring the left hand behind your back. The palm of the left hand is looking for the inside of the right leg. Stay here or bend your right knee. Bring your right hand to the outside of the left foot and then float that left foot up. If you choose to float the left foot up, now you might go ahead and open that left arm. Shift your weight into your sit bones if you haven't yet. Play around with floating that right leg forward to a hover above your mat. Take a big breath in. And then as you exhale, fold forward. Bring your right hand to your left foot and your left hand toward your right foot or toward your calves. So you've crisscrossed the forearms in your forward fold. Breathe into the middle of your back and the space between your shoulders. We're gonna try and keep the left hand toward that right foot as you separate the left foot out a bit and then reach your right arm back. So you're in the beginning of that twist again. From here, you can stay exactly the way you are. This is great, just focusing on the breath, using the inhales to create an awareness of space in your spine and the exhales to deepen that twist, or you bring your right hand into a half bind, catching the left upper thigh. From there, walk the left foot in and bend the left knee. From there, catch the outside of the right foot, float that right leg up or lift it up with the hand, I should say. Find your sit bones, maybe you unravel right arm. Show your shoulder blades to the space behind you, stay there, or straighten and float the left leg. For three, two, one, bring the soles of the feet together and then fold forward. Supta Baddha, or Baddha Konasana, excuse me, butterfly forward fold. And with the hands on the soles of the feet, it's this really nice opportunity to give your feet a little appreciation, a little love, maybe you massage the feet or the ankles. Maybe you just bring your awareness to the soles of the feet. If massaging them seems a little too weird, I encourage you to give it a try to soften around those places that we can get kind of judgmental, right? But it's not for everyone, so if it's not for you, soften around that and just notice the sensations in the soles of your feet. A few more rounds of breath if you need more. You're gonna take your forearms and thread them underneath your calves, your outer calves, and then interlace your fingers around your feet to make a sling. Pull the heels in as you draw the heart forward and press the knees out to the side. So much more active version of this butterfly forward fold. Take what you need and please leave what you don't so easy to get caught up in this comparison or this idea that we need to constantly be increasing our capacity. And sometimes increasing just our capacity for more subtle sensation, for a deeper connection, a deeper awareness without having to add more external stimulus is actually one of the most profound forms of progress that we can make. 
If you added that intense version, or even if you didn't, let's start to unwind and bring your chest up. Use your hands to guide your knees in toward one another. And then bring your chest onto your thighs and wrap your forearms around your shins for a seated child's pose, tucking your head between your knees. When you're ready, find a Shavasana shape. You can add anything in that you might need along the way, but I really encourage you to take some kind of resting shape. You might even add a little reverse sit up on the way, but at some point, let your body drop into some stillness. There's no rush to get there, but Try not to skip this part. So just as important as it is that we exercise and move and invite activity into our lives, equally important that we carve out time for stillness, for rest. As much as you can, let go of your mind. Let go of any lingering control of the breath or the energy and just watch, just observe the breath as it comes and goes. Notice any thoughts and let them come and go. So if you can keep dropping into a deeper level of relaxation, letting your muscles melt and your body really just melt into the earth beneath you. I'll stay here, listen for my voice in just a few moments to end practice. stay in Shavasana or take a supine butterfly. We're going to finish up with those parasympathetic sighs, those double inhale exhales. You might choose to bring your hands onto your torso to feel the breath. You can also come up to a seat if that's a better position for you. And take a breath in through your nose and hold it. Sip in a little bit more breath. Sigh it out through your mouth. Two more. If you're not in the seat, ease yourself upright. When you land, reach your arms down to your sides. And then on an inhale, stretch the arms out to the side. Reach way up, big stretch. Lift the ribs away from your hips. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Namaste. Thank you for sharing your energy, your practice, your time. Take good care of yourself. I hope to see you again soon.